Hello there, this is a video all about how you can use a microscope to view stomata. Now this is a practical you can do if you are studying biology as part of the WJEC GCSE, uh, what's called triple science, or just studying for the biology GCSE. It's not needed for the double science course, but it may be required for some other exam boards. So my own students, and possibly other students, might find this useful. Now it's not known as a specified practical, you don't need to know it for the course, however it is a useful practical to be able to do, to actually view stomata, see what they look like, and also to measure then the difference from different leaves, different plants, uh, and also the top side and the bottom side, because we only see stomata, or we should only see stomata, uh, on the bottom side of leaves for most of them. So this is something that you might ordinarily do in school, but if you're not able to for whatever reason, then uh, you can watch this video. What you would do normally is use a microscope. You need a plant, obviously. This is a lovely plant that I have at home, which I really like, with uh, some lovely variegated leaves, which if you're doing the GCSE, you should already know about. And for this, you need some clear nail varnish. This is Sunset Daylight Curing Top Coat from Barry M. Any kind of nail varnish should do, but it does need to be clear, because if it's colourful, you don't see as much definition. Now, step one is to pick a leaf. Now, as I said, you want to be looking mainly on the underside of a leaf. I'm going to look at the top side as well, just, you know, for the fun of it. And you want to spread a very thin layer of nail varnish along the leaf. And you want to let that dry completely. Now what the nail varnish does is it creates a film over the leaf. We're not going to be looking at the leaf itself, we're actually going to be looking at the nail varnish. So then once the nail varnish has dried, you need some sellotape. And what you want to do is put your sellotape on your leaf, and then you want to use like a bit of plastic or the side of a pen or something just to rub the sellotape on the leaf so it forms a nice seal. What you should see when you pull off the sellotape is sort of like a stain on there. That is your nail varnish, your dry nail varnish. And that should have the same pattern as the underside of your leaf. Future Mr Thomas here. I forgot to mention when I was recording this video that you want to attach your sellotape to a microscope slide and again smooth it down so it's fully attached to the slide ready to use in the microscope. So then you want to look at it in your microscope. You want to start with a low magnification, focus on the leaf, find a nice place and then up the magnification, refocus again, and then lastly up the magnification one more time. So what you should see from the bottom of the leaf is the lower epidermis. You'll see a bunch of cells, you'll see a bunch of patterning. Each one of those sort of blobs is going to be the bottom of a cell. And even at a low magnification, you should be able to see these structures called stomata. So at a lower resolution, these stomata look a little bit like diamonds. And at the highest magnification, you can actually see what they are in detail. So each stomata is made up of two guard cells either side, and then the gap in the middle is the opening. And what you can see actually from the top of the leaf is that there are no stomata. So from the top of the leaf, no stomata. It's just that patterning of the epithelial cells. But from the bottom of the leaf, we can see loads of stomata, which of course allow the leaf to perform gas and water exchange. I hope this has been helpful for you if you are studying the GCSE biology course with the WJEC or if you are studying with another exam board uh, but also uh, needing to know this information. Thank you for watching.